Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is kind of an impromptu video. I wasn't planning on filming this today, but I really wanted to share with you the lip swatches that I filmed for the new Make Beauty Cream Supreme lipsticks. And so I just thought I would do a quick like single product review and tell you about the formula, show you the swatches, all of that good stuff. You guys know I really love Make Beauty. They were one of my favorite brands of last year and they continue to put out products that really impress me and are I think very, very good value. Like they deliver really luxurious quality formulas at a sort of mid-range price point, I would say. So in like the 20 to $30 range. I have done two, I think, brand reviews of Make Beauty in the past. So I'll link those below if you're curious about any of their other products. And of course I will link everything I talk about. And I do have a discount code for Make Beauty. It's Becca15 for 15% off if you're curious to try. So Make Beauty very kindly sent over all of the new lipstick shades. I mean, this is an incredibly beautiful PR package very generous of them and I'll be honest I've been curious about whether Make Beauty would release a lipstick formula because currently their lip formulas are all their serum balm formulas so they have their original serum balms and then their serum balm intense formula which I also love I think those are some of the best products from the brand. So I was really, really excited to see these. So for a little bit of background, the Cream Supreme lipstick is, they call it a high impact lipstick. They say this modern refillable lipstick is formulated with concentrated pigments, vitamin E, and advanced emollients that provide vivid color for a long lasting, comfortable wear with a creamy, glossy finish. These are $26. With my discount code, they come out to about $22 around there, just FYI. And this comes in 20 shades, and their shade selection is very interesting and very wearable but also kind of editorial so they have nudes they have reds they have cool tones they have vivids and they also have some very like editorial shades like a navy and a black so they do a lot within this 20 shade range so let's talk real quick about packaging um, they come in these boxes and the lipsticks themselves are a slim bullet. So they're actually very weighty and you have the navy and the gold and this is a refillable tube, which I really love. There's the Make logo there and this is what the Stilo looks like. So it's a twist up product, looks like that and you have the slim bullet. One thing, well, first I'll say, I actually really love a slim bullet. I find that, especially when it comes to a pigmented lipstick, it's nice to have a bullet that's not too big so that you can have a lot of control, get that crisp lip line if that's what you're looking for, and that you can build with ease. And I think that's really important and a really thoughtful part of the design with this formula because it is quite a pigmented lipstick. It's a true creamy formula, very pigmented, buildable as well but I think with that level of pigment you want control and I do think that's what the slim bullet gives you the danger of a slim bullet is that sometimes they can break especially if the formula is too soft or they can move around like within the bullet itself and I'm happy to say that these do not do that they have a really nice firmness and it doesn't feel like you're going to just break off this thin little stick of lipstick all of them came intact none of them fell out in the tube and I got 20 of them you know so I think that is a good sign. In terms of formula, this is a really beautiful, modern, fresh take on a pigmented lipstick. So I think they are highly pigmented. They definitely are not your sheer, like balmy kind of lipstick, but they have a creaminess and they sort of melt onto the lips as you're applying them. Not in a way that is overly balmy or waxy, so they move around, but they almost have a slight grippy quality to them that I actually feel like helps keep them in place. And so you're not going to have lipstick moving around outside of your lip lines. You can feel it on the lips, but it's not a 
thick formula either. It's not like goopy on the lips. It doesn't feel like something I'm self-conscious about. And I feel like it's actually very comfortable as well. I think some of them are a little bit softer than others, depending on the shade and the kind of pigment that's in there. But overall, the formula is very consistent throughout all of the lipsticks. And I do feel like it's it's not like moisturizing like a lip balm, but I've worn these out a couple of times and I don't feel like my lips are drying out at all. It starts out um, not exactly glossy, but creamy. I would say there's like a creamy sheen on the lips. When I lip swatched these, you can see I actually didn't use lip liner with any of my lip swatches. And I thought that was actually pretty surprising that I was able to get a nice lip shape and a crisp lip line with all of the shades. I mean, I did 20 swatches, so my lips were kind of dying by the end of the swatching session. So it's not perfect every time, but I do think, you know, I was expecting a much more difficult time, like getting them off and reapplying, getting them off, reapplying. And I think the creaminess of the formula actually really helped me as I was swatching. Another nice feature, I think this is a new feature on the Make Beauty website, is that they have real people trying on the lipsticks and you can see the lipsticks on people with different skin tones. So if you wanna see what a certain shade will look like with someone who has a similar skin tone to you, you can sort of sort through the filters and it shows you videos and pictures of real people and real consumers wearing them. And I think that's a really nice feature. You know, you, you can't always tell from a, a swatch or a photo of a swatch or like a digitally edited, edited swatch what a shade will look like on you. So I think that is a really nice touch that they included with this launch. This is fluorescence, which is a hot pink and it's definitely neon in person. Red Emission, which is the blue red. Molten, a bright orange. Infrared, orange red, which is what I'm wearing today in the video. Ultraviolet, which is a violet purple. Equilibrium, which is described as a rosy nude, and this is definitely going to be one of my most used shades of the range, I can already tell. Radicchio, a brick red. Deep Flesh, which is a warm coral. Catalyst, golden brown. Red Rock, a warm, medium dark brown. Atmospheric, a neutral nude, another one of my favorites in this line. New Lava, warm red. Regenerate, dark berry. Dark Side, dark chocolate brown. Simulation, red brown. Parallel Universe, burgundy purple. Fever Pitch, vivid fuchsia. Magnetic Field, dark royal blue. Blackout, creamy black. Supernova, warm brown. I actually forgot to swatch this one during my original swatch video, so you can see I swatched it earlier today before filming this. So you can see there's quite a range of shades here. Like I mentioned, I do think they hit all of the notes that you want to see in a shade range. So there, something I really love is that there's a nude shade for every skin tone. And there are a lot of really incredible brown toned shades in this range. So I think the lighter nudes, for example, starting with Atmospheric, have this really beautiful caramely milky tone. And Atmospheric is really, really interesting because it's actually kind of a yellow undertoned beigey nude. I love this kind of nude on my skin tone. And I think it's very flattering for a lot of different skin tones. And then you get like the peachier nudes, for example, like Equilibrium. Then there are a lot of beautiful like chocolate chocolatey, milk chocolatey, caramely brown toned nudes. And that kind of carries from light to really deep. So I definitely think that's a strength of this range. Another thing that this range has absolutely nailed are the reds. And that doesn't surprise me, Carrie, um, who is the founder of Make Beauty, she wears red lipstick all the time and she looks amazing in it. And I love that they've included like a true red, 
brick red, orangey red, deeper red, maroons, berries, like you get the entire spectrum of reds with lots of different undertones. And a lot of these shades are shades that exist in the range of their serum balms. So shades like Supernova and like their hot pink shade. Um, it's nice to see like the desaturated tones of the serum balms become saturated and to see what they look like as full pigment lipsticks. And then of course we have the more like experimental colors. You have the brights, like the hot pink, the ultraviolet, there's another purple shade, you get the blue, and then the black lipstick as well. And I'm not gonna lie, I was very intimidated by those. I, I have worn black lipstick in my life if I'm like going out or going to an event or something that calls for that look. It's not something I wear all the time, but I'm kind of excited to have a really nice formula of those shades if the look calls for it, you know? And I do think this makeup range by including those speaks to um, both like natural makeup wearers as well as more editorial and experimental makeup wearers. I will say one area where I would like to see more shades and I'm sure they'll add more shades down the line are the pinks. I feel like you get, you know, like a hot pink, um, very, very neon hot pink and then you get, um, the Equilibrium shade, which is like a peachy pink. I do think it would be nice to see more variations of pink toned nudes because they've absolutely nailed brown toned nudes and I would like to see a bit more of like the peachy pink nudes. That said, I think most lipstick ranges don't do brown toned nudes very well and do too many of the um, PG pink nudes or the, the cool toned pink nudes. So I think there's some like corrective work that Make is doing to offer shades that you can't find that easily in other ranges. But I'm sure the peachy pinks and the pink tone nudes, those are all shades that sell really well, are maybe easier to formulate, and so I'm sure they'll add those to the range at some point because honestly, I think this formula is going to do really well and be a very popular one. It's cool to see Make Beauty take on more dramatic makeup. I'm going to add to the mix my wish list of products. I mentioned I would love to see lip pencils. I would also love to see eyeshadows like cream eyeshadows or eyeshadow quads, even an eyeshadow palette. This lipstick launch is the first time that I could like see it in my mind, what a big format eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow quads might look like from the brand. So that's just me speculating slash like throwing into the ether my wish list. But I'm honestly really happy with this launch. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. And I think it really does a dramatic pigmented lipstick well. So I think I'm going to leave it there. If you have any questions about the lipsticks or about the shades, let me know. I would love to hear which shades kind of speak to you and your aesthetic, what you think about the shade range. It's certainly a sort of risky one, but I think it's really cool and I would love to hear what you think. Again, I will link um, my reviews for their other products below along with my discount code, Becca15, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.